Hello there and welcome to Foodie Legends, your go-to resource for the best foods to eat around the world and their history. Today, we are going to fly to Japan, a country in Asia known for its rich history, culture, and of course, their extremely popular and delicious food. But before we dive in, we're very thankful of you guys for watching our previous video. Did you like our top 7 most bizarre foods in South Korea? Do you have places and cuisines to recommend? Don't be shy and say it in our comment section. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell so you guys can catch up on our latest food journeys. Japan has a very rich history. Its diverse geography paving way for its colorful past and setting it as a significant part of the world's most important events. Japan is an archipelago located in East Asia, just neighbors with China, the Korean Peninsula, and the farthest edge of Russia. Just like most empires in Europe, Japan developed its own feudal system hundreds of years ago. This era was known for its endless battles between several warring states. During this time, the military nobility, known as the Samurai, became a significant part of the said chapter of this era. At some point, these states enjoyed some semblance of stability, and then came to the political intrigues which were inevitably followed by, well, fighting. It would remain that way until these three guys ushered a new era in the history of Japan. Oda Nobunaga, Toyotomi Hidoyoshi, and Tokugawa Iyasu. Their actions led to the rise of the Tokugawa Shogunate, also known as the Edo period which lasted from 1603 to 1868. This period is known for Japan's isolation from the outside world until Western forces forced the opening of Japanese harbors, essentially ending Japan's isolation and opening it to the world. This led to the rise of the Meiji Restoration. Japan turned into a world power in a short period of time and became a key player in World War II. After Japan's defeat in 1945, it experienced an economic upheaval, but miraculously it recovered at a lightning pace and now, it is one of the richest and technologically advanced in Asia and in the world. Japan became the center of culture, and of course, Japan gave us J-pop and anime. Japanese cuisine is the summary of Japan's long and eventful history, politics, cultural, and social evolution throughout the centuries. Their traditional cuisine is mostly based on rice, paired with miso soup and other side dishes. There is also an emphasis on the seasonal ingredients and ingredients that are commonly found in a certain region. Speaking of regional ingredients, let's fly a bit further into Hokkaido. Hokkaido is the second largest island of Japan and also the country's largest and northernmost prefecture. Although considered a part of Japan, Hokkaido initially was seen as a foreign territory, populated by its indigenous tribe, the Ainu people. Japanese settlers migrated to the island in the 17th century, leading to violent clashes with the Ainu people. Hokkaido was officially integrated into the Empire of Japan during the Meiji Restoration, and its indigenous people were forced to assimilate. Because of its location in the map, Hokkaido retained its somewhat rural appearance and a picturesque landscape of mountains overlooking the countryside. Since it is an island, Hokkaido has a rich source of seafood amongst many other delicious ingredients which we'll see in today's video. Coming at number one on our list is a dish that is aptly named because it invokes the spirit of a historical figure so iconic that it strikes fear to the eater who wants to gobble up the hearty meat slices. Sizzling on the scorching hot plate, our first pick is none other than Jingisukan, known by its translated name as the Genghis Khan Barbecue. The fearsome horse riding warriors of the Mongol Empire really left a mark in Japan. From 1274 to 1281, the Mongol Empire, through the forces of Kublai Kai, leading the Yuan Dynasty from China, launched a series of invasions to make Japan a part of the Mongol Empire. By that time, the reach of the Mongol Empire spanned from the edge of China up to the entrance of medieval Europe. 
What stopped these fiery horse lords from annexing Japan were powerful storms driving them back to their ships. The Japanese considered this as a divine intervention from their gods known as Kami. But that's not the exact reason why the name of our number one pick was derived from the historical figure. The Genghis Khan barbecue got the name for two reasons, the meat and the cooking instrument. The meat used for this dish is either lamb or mutton. These meat choices were known to be staple foods that Mongols used to sustain their hordes traveling around the land on their way to the next conquest. Meanwhile, the iron plate that is used to grill the meat resembles the hat worn by Genghis Khan and the Mongol soldiers. The origin of Genghis Khan, however, is believed to have its roots back from the northeastern Chinese cuisine and the name of the dish supposedly invented by a man from Sapporo named Tokuzo Koma. The sheep in the grazing fields of Hokkaido were mainly sheared for their wool. The Japanese government ordered the construction of five sheep farms around the country in 1918, but all of them were demolished except in Hokkaido. The rest is history. Eating Genghis Khan barbecue is usually a group affair. The iron hot plate is placed at the center of the table where the served meat cuts are grilled alongside an assortment of vegetables such as mushroom, onions, leeks, carrots, kombucha pumpkin, asparagus, and the meat is either marinated or dipped in special sauces. Nice. Coming in at number two on our list is Ishikare Nabe, a soup dish that will surely make you feel great during the cold Japanese winter, both physically and figuratively. This hot pot delicacy has a very special origin story dating back to the Edo period. Before Ishikari Nabe became a classic meal as it is today, it is said that the dish already existed in the 1600s to the 1800s as a dish that fishermen enjoy after a big catch. The dish originally came from the Ishikari town, situated out the river of the same name that is rich with salmon. To celebrate the bountiful catch of the day, Fishermen with chunks and bony parts of the salmon, definitely good for making soup. Thank you! These wonderful cuts are then added into a pot of miso-based broth and voila, Ishikari Nabe was born. Ishikari Nabe became an icon when a restaurant named Kinda Ite, a restaurant specializing in cooking Nabe, created the first official recipe of this hot pot as part of their menu. Kinda Ite opened its doors to hungry eaters in 1880 and here's the best part it's still open today don't, 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 don't. to sum it up ishikara nabe is a hot pot composed of salmon or trout miso broth and assortment of vegetables winters in hokkaido can be pretty cold and a huge hot pot with this delicious broth can warm your heart and soul if you get the chance to visit the island of hokkaido have a go and try our pick you can even make this at home. Coming in at number three on our list is another salmon dish, but no, this is not a ripoff of Ishikare Nabe, but a serious contender to warm up your body during the cold winter days. This soup dish is none other than Senpai Jiru. While Ishikare Nabe is an actual hot pot that uses mainly salmon or trout, Senpai Jiru is a unique soup dish on its own offering a diverse choice on which fish you can use for the latter. Sanpai Jiru is a popular soup in Hokkaido known for its straightforward taste and as a good complement for other dishes in a typical Hokkaido meal. In this dish, you can use other fishes aside from salmon, such as herring, cod, or hoke, a type of mackerel that has a soft meat. Vegetables are also added such as daikon, radish, potatoes, carrots, leeks, or scallions, cooked in a kombu dashi broth. Instead of miso, salt is used as a key flavoring agent in the soup. Sanpaijiro can be served as the main dish or can be served as a replacement to miso soup, eaten with rice or either side dishes. Now, there is no clear history that can be traced to the point on the origins of Sanpaijiro but various theories were proposed to explain how this bowl of soup came to existence. Some of them can be quite mythical or like a legend, but hey, it cannot be all the weird, can it? 
One story says that Nanbu Samurai named Sanpai Saito found himself in a small island named Okushiri, where he served his soup to his workers, thus garnering him the honor to have a soup named after him. Another story claims that the fisherman named Sanpai served this soup to the daimyo of the Matsume clan, and this fisherman had a soup named after him. The third theory states that Sanpai Jiru got its name because it was served in a Sanpai Zara dish, an elegantly designed bowl with a slightly shallow bottom. Whatever its origin story may be, we are lucky to know that such a delicious soup exists in Hokkaido. Before the age of sushi, Japan had the ruby, and that is the number 4 on our list. Ruby is a dish that is a legacy of the Ainu people, the indigenous group living in Hokkaido even before it became an official territory of Japan. Winters in Hokkaido are especially cold, being located at the farthest parts of Japan, refrigeration was not yet invented yet, and the Ainu people needed to find a way to preserve their foods during the warmer seasons, and so ruby was born. Ruby is a frozen raw fish. The preparation of ruby is pretty straightforward. The fish is simply left to freeze outside in the open air. Eventually, it would be covered in snow, waiting to be dug out after the winter. Line of the colonel. I don't care what time it is. This one's waited long enough. The Ainu does not wait for the fish to thaw. Hence, Ruby earned the reputation it melts in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, boy. Nowadays, preparing Ruby has been modernized. The people who make it choose the salmon that must be as fat and fresh as possible so it can survive the preservation process nicely and still taste great. The fish will then be cleaned filleted, and stored in a freezer. The most ideal way to eat ruby is by eating it still half frozen with soy sauce and wasabi. Because of the rise of sushi, the art of making ruby is declining rapidly. Although it is still a common delicacy in local restaurants in Hokkaido, ruby is a legacy of the Ainu and it must not fade away. Coming in at number 5 on our list is a reflection of Hokkaido as a seafood based cuisine the Ika Somen, simply translated as squid noodles. Although the word Ika means squid and Somen means wheat flour noodles, it does not actually mean a noodle dish mixed with squid. Ika Somen is actually a type of sashimi made from the raw squid slices thinly and vertically to resemble, you guessed it right, noodles. The specifics of Ika Somen is actually hotly debated amongst Japanese cuisine experts. According to some food experts, Ika Somen is not a sashimi, and that the cuttlefish is a more suitable ingredient to use because of its thicker flesh. On the contrary, counter arguments were posed, emphasizing that Ika Somen is synonymous with Ito Zukuri, or thread cut, a technique in sashimi slicing. Either way, Ika Somen is still a popular raw dish in Hokkaido cuisine, in which the freshness of the squid must be the highlight of this beautiful delicacy, as well as the expertise it needs to prepare so that the final result is a fantastic culinary delight. In this dish, the squid is filleted in halves, then into strips. Some cooks insist that the strips must be sliced vertically, along the length of the squid and along the grain, to prevent it from becoming extremely chewy. The final result are translucent strips of squid almost looking like vermicelli noodles. Ika somen is then served in a heap contained in a donbori, served with ginger, wasabi, and soy sauce. Is it even possible to not think of Japan when you're thinking of ramen? Disappointed! Could you visit Hokkaido without eating ramen? The capital city of Hokkaido, Sapporo, is known as the birthplace of ramen noodles in miso broth. Therefore, this Hokkaido food list would not be complete without picking the Sapporo style ramen. Sapporo is arguably one of the most popular places in Japan, outside the urban giants such as Tokyo, because of Hokkaido's cold weather even in non-winter months, the trend of eating ramen never went out of fashion and has its origins since the days of old. 
miso ramen made its entrance into Hokkaido cuisine in 1958, when its miso broth formulated by the first owner of Sapporo Miso Restaurant, Ajino Sanpai, Morito Omiya. Meanwhile, the type of noodles that suits this miso broth was made by Takayuki Nishiyama, the man behind Nishiyama Simon. This type of noodle is smooth, thick, and wavy, ideal enough to hold the delicious broth. The ramen phenomenon supposedly started after the end of World War II, in a small stall at Nijo Market, spreading to the entertainment district of Susukino. Years passed and the ramen bonanza raged on, becoming the figurehead of Hokkaido food scene and Japanese cuisine outside the country. Today, the original Sapporo ramen evolved into various recipes, such as the addition of cha siu slices, pork slices, and broth seasoned with soy sauce. What a long way it has gone. Closing our top 7 Hokkaido food list, we have the sweet delight in the form of Hokkaido ice cream, a product of Hokkaido's grazing lands. Because of the cold climate and spacious countryside, Hokkaido is an ideal place for dairy farming. As a result, Hokkaido is a large supplier of dairy products in Japan. Hokkaido is popular for delighting eaters with cones of soft serve ice cream, its milk straight from the dairy farms around the land. Because of the abundance of milk in the region, as well as the high quality of living standards amongst the livestock, the milk used in this cold delight is milkier and fresher than most. The original flavor for the Hokkaido soft serve ice cream is vanilla, but with modernization and mixing of culture and culinary secrets in the world, newer flavors were introduced to the classic Hokkaido ice cream, even more wildly popular. The exploring ice cream connoisseur may get Hokkaido ice cream in various flavors, such as melon, sweet pumpkin, chocolate, and even in vibrant colors, such as lavender, blue, like the Shirahage waterfalls, and more. Eating Hokkaido ice cream even in cold weather is a guilty pleasure everyone should try. It can also be a great palate cleanser after eating the savory food on our list. Thanks again for tuning in here with Foodie Legends for our latest episode. We hope you enjoyed the video and got a nice taste into the interesting foods that Hokkaido has to offer. Before you go, make sure to like this video and click the subscribe button for more delicious content every week. We'd love to hear your thoughts too, so leave a comment below to let us know what your favorite part of the video was or if you want to just leave us with a few thoughts. You guys are awesome. Thanks again for watching. See you guys on the next one.